I can't do it no more. I got to eat. I drank all this coffee. There's no coffee left. I I have no motivation to lift anything because I'm out of energy. I just don't even want to finish moving everything out the storage unit. I got to be to work in three hours. So, and I got to eat before I get there. I don't want to be out of it my first day, you know? So I'm going to take you guys to the side of mill. Figure I'd take you guys for a ride as well. I should put my seatbelt on. It's a perfect day for it. It's Saturday. It's cool outside, but it's sunny. Um, it's nice. My car gets really loud over here. I don't want to be... The uh, owner, I think, is here, so I don't want to be stupid. It's really, really cold air right now. The air is really, really crisp. Which, I was just at Starbucks. Pretty sure I just seen somebody that worked for Red Bull. Red Bull Racing. They had a Red Bull Racing jacket on. They had a bunch of tags, an Oracle, all that stuff, which is good stuff. Good companies. Yeah, we got to go get food. Which I got to get back here, finish moving the rest of my stuff. And then, uh... Go to work, which I just seen my uncle, which is the one that changed the price on me on the truck. Fucking prick. So I always shake hands with fucking cocksucker and fucking faggots. It's for you. It's to shame them when they when they switch up on you. So when you shake on it. All those sodas switch up on you. You show them. You shook on that shit. Now you're switching up, bitch. That's way. That way they know they're in the wrong. That way they learn their lesson. Or they just get hurt. Learn their lesson that way. This car is so fucking ridiculous. Like two and a half, two grand, three grand in between there, this car really opens up. There goes my cock, so it's an uncle right there, you'll see the truck. That truck that just passed. It's ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see where it is and going. takes the bump so well. It blows my mind how well this car rides through the streets. You can't 
can't fly through the streets in other cars like you can in this car. That's why I won't put coils over. I won't put coilovers on this. Unless you can provide me with some fucking really, really nice ones. Works good on this thing. I, I like the pink stripe on that car. I like how that's done with the wheels. That's just enough paint. an actual car lift in their garage. It's always nice. Speaking of weed, 
about to put that there. There we go. understand why they didn't put this in production. I really do. People would be dying left and right. <laughs> yeah. I see why most hot hatches, the Ford Focus holds its resale value. Most hot hatches only go about 200 horse, 250 tops. All the RS focuses had 300 plus horsepower from what I've been reading on the internet. <laughs> it's quite a bit of power. I have no idea what this thing's pushing. No idea. I'm assuming around 250, 300. Somewhere around there. Quite a full tank of turbo blue in it yet, nor ethanol, so. I'm assuming it, the flex fuel sensor to, turns it up, tunes it up, based upon the octane in the car, if it has one, so, because uh, that's it. what's happened since I put gas, put turbo blue in it. Um, I'm going to start, when I get a little bit of money, get a little bit of extra change, to get some front tires on here, change some parts on here. Maintenance part wise, I'll start, I'll start throwing a little bit higher octane, higher octane, see what happens. I gotta do an oil change soon too. I ride this car very hard, so <clears throat> which I'm getting close to the thousand mile mark. Most oil is good for about three thousand. I like to change it like every twenty-five, two thousand, because I'm so hard on vehicles. But I've ran it, man. I've ran oil the cars for fucking. 10,000 miles, man. I love the smell of Turbo Blue. It smells so good. I'm not even rock running the proper spark plugs or ignition wires or anything on this car. I'm surprised they haven't melted yet. They should, they're doing fine. They're holding up. I check them every day. Better than the ones that were on it. There's 
a bunch of deer over here. You'll see them just hanging out. I've just seen a shitload. They'll just sit on the sides of the road and watch the cars go by. Looks like the road might be closed. It sure is. We gotta take a detour. We're gonna go down the telegraph. I seen today. I'm pretty sure he uh, he was doing computer work at Starbucks. I'm pretty sure he works for Red Bull. I came out, got in the car. He's checking out my car. He turned aside when I was revving it up. The car has a very unique sound. You know, you don't hear cars that sound like this. Not very often, you know. Not unless they're full-blown race cars.
back over. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. I see what they're doing. They're letting that person over. We are in the Richie neighborhood. Where, where everything is to be expected. Truck in front of me.
we are here. Franklin Village, Franklin Sidemill. This guy went on the wrong side of the road. We are here. It's not that packed, which is nice. That's why I came earlier. This place is going to be slammed. I'm telling you, this place will be slapping. It's awesome. It's been here for a long, long, long time. I have no traction on these tires. You barely push the gas and they just start spinning. place to come to for a date. Last place ever. <clears throat> they have the best warm donuts. Old fashioned warm donuts. They have the best cider mill. Well, apple cider I should say. At the cider mill. Which they do have the best cinema. It's one of the oldest, that's why. It smells so fucking good. can smell the apples. It's right now is when you smell the apples. It hits you. It smacks you. Eighteen thirty-two. The mill was completed after three years of construction. This was five years before Michigan gained its statehood. Apples are the second most valuable fruit in the United States. Oranges are the first. Johnny Appleseed Chapman brought a small variety of apples from Europe. He spent his life planting apple trees across America, some of which still bear fruit today. It says, the most beautiful apples are known to grow in the state of Washington and the most flavorful are in the eastern states. While Washington ranks first in producing apples in the United States at nearly 60%, New York is second and 11%, and Michigan is third with 8%.
presses the apples inside the building which I'll take you inside you'll be able to see inside all that good stuff Ginger Gold, Honey Crisp, which are my favorite. Those are my favorite apples, period. And then Fiji apples, of course. Apple butter barbecue sauce, cherry barbecue sauce, honey mustard, sweet and spicy mustard, strawberry preserves. They got it all. <laughs> we gotta go inside. I'm getting hungry. My stomach is growling, man. In 1837, Colonel Peter Van Avery or Avery erected a flowering mill on the banks of the Franklin River. For a time, this mill was the only grass mill in Oakland County at which a farmer could sell wheat for cash money. The potash was created in 1838 at the rear of this mill, but it was not in evidence today. The cider press currently in use is believed to have been moved from another mill located further downstream. It says Colonel Van Avery built a distillery in 1837 across the street from the mill. But it has since disappeared. Although this mill is located outside the village, it has always been considered part of Franklin because Colonel Van Avery's home was located in the village. A court crimper, this tool was used roll a tape around the cork so that they could be inserted more easily into a bottle of cider. Uh, ice hooks. Holding an apple. One penny cut machine used at Franklin Sedimel through the 1970s. Interesting. Shitty ass exhaust. And it's an automatic. Pipe wrench. Early hammer with claw. This is a handmade wooden plane similar to the ones used for construction of this building in 1837. A raisin cedar invented before seedless raisins. A grape crusher. Glass cider containers, glasses container. These glass containers were used in the Franklin Cider Mill from the 40s into the 60s. And there's a big cash register. We're going to go inside. Smells so good in here.
Got to have a strong back when to do this all day. It smells so good. Should they go through some buckets? Smells so good in here. Until I smell my favorite places to go. Cheesecake. Said, I'll come back. They're going to be a second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how are you today? Can I have a, a one gallon of cider, please? And may I have a dozen donuts as well? Be twenty-five. Thank you so much. There's twenty-five and six. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty-five. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Non-pasteurized. You gotta have this. Pre-apple said this is what they're about to process, but they just press. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. They're coming hot. The God bless you, sir. Appreciate you. These are so good. You may remember rich you can smell them. They have like one cinnamon smell to them, all that. Peter Van Everett, while he was stationed with the British Army in Detroit. 
Initially, between 1834 and 1875, the water-powered mill ground bread for the many farmers living in the area. Twenty years later, a huge press was brought from another mill. It was so high, I like it in front of my lips. 1895, the Franklin Center mill so that we know today was born. February 10th, when you come here and you eat these, and you come and see these are the best donuts you ever had, make sure you hook me up. Been making the same recipe for that long. It's over 100 years old. Almost a century. Over, over a century, it says. The same apple cider, the same donut. Of course, a cider All the stuff here is at all. They're still be gone today. I guarantee you. So are these. I promise you. These fragrant flowers attract bees that pollinate each blossom. This becomes the process that transforms these fragile flowers into hearty, juicy, delicious apples. Yeah, everybody, I love this place. I can sing all day. Long hours picking and pruning apples so that the truckers can haul the fruit to market. And of course, to the Franklin Cider Mill. From Labor Day to the first Sunday in December, fresh apples arrive at the mill daily. We make all of our own apple cider. Our cider is 100% pure and natural. We have nothing to do with our cider other than love. Yeah, yeah, it's only the 60 bushels of honey crisp apples are diced and crisp into the party sauce. The best apples, told you honey crisp, the best apples. Each containing 10 bushels are wrapped in huge cloths and then stacked. And sweet. When you come here, you gotta get it hot as well. Get hot cider as so much. here are all the apples they come tumbling down they're about to fall through that chute and they're gonna layer them out
gotta crush a lot of apples. They're all cut up. They're getting all cut up and shit. See how it's all mashed up? Thank <laughs> you. 
this blonde dude from the uh, They had blue eyes, everything. Holy shit. Looks like Jingo. Thank you. 